So we're back on our slant. Um, we're still waiting for the block to come back from Chuck. He's taking 100 off the deck, and we should have that back within a few days or so. And uh, we've been working on the head. So let me bring you guys up to speed here. The last time around, I showed you where we were grinding pieces off of it, and since then we've taken these ribs out from it, and you know, a few little odds and ends. But the big thing is we started porting it. So, um, you know, listen, like, okay, look, don't judge me, okay? All right, so, so I'm going to be the first to admit, I have the porting skills of Stone Age Man three days into an opiate rehab, right? But it doesn't have to be pretty to work, and it'll work. So here, look at this. We've, we've done these two cylinders, they're roughed in, but you really have to look at one of the ones that isn't done yet to see what we've worked on. So on the exhaust side, there really is not much to do other than just cleaning up the area of the bowl under the seat, you know, and you can see here, we did that right there. It's all nice and smooth, right, and evened out uh, as much in line with the seat as possible. And actually, we, we got into the seat by just a little bit, but that's fine. And on the exhaust side, the big thing is this lump right here. Uh, that's, that's the outside of the valve stem opening. So you can see here where we've, we've pretty much eliminated that completely. And we blended the areas on either side of it. So this way the exhaust as it's going, there's no, no sharp edges, nothing for it to catch on to over here. And it has a, a freeway out. The intake side is a little tricky on these engines. And it's mostly because of the way they cast them. So if you look at this port, you can't see it from here, but for, from your angle, but it's undercut right in here by about 200 thousandths of an inch. So what's happening is as the intake mixture is coming along here, it's hitting this and it's actually being pushed this way, right? So there's, there's, there's not a whole lot you can do. Um, like we're already, you can see here this one that we've, we've done, we're already at the seat. We're actually into the seat a bit and it's still undercut somewhat. But we blended that as much as possible to try to get it to flow right through this area. Um, they're a little bit, each one of these cylinders is a little bit different. It's just the way they laid the cores together. That's the big difference between yesterday's engines and today's. Today's motor is one of the reasons why today's engines make as much power as they do, is the way the, the heads are manufactured and ported from the factory. These things here, not much thought was given to, you know, high RPM flow or anything like that. They were just looking for something to get on down the road. So they weren't precise when they laid out the cores and, and, and they did the pour and all of that. They weren't really precise. And on some of these heads, it shows more than others. And that's what we have over here. So the best we can do, I mean, ideally, you would want to have a stack of cylinder heads to go through and find the best casting to work with. But this is what we've got, and this is what we're going to work with. And uh, on these cylinders here that we've, we've already done, um, you know, it, they're okay. It's, this will get by. Uh, but again, see, the, the main goal with this aspect of porting is to get the area under the seat to flow and blend as good as possible into the, the, into the actual runner itself. And we haven't touched the runners yet. So this is where we're at with this thing. Uh, we've also relieved a little bit around the outside of the exhaust valve, somewhat on the intake valve, but mostly around the exhaust valve because the exhaust valve does come very close to the wall here. They're shrouded. Now, as far as like valves go, we have a set of the 170 uh, engine builder valves, but we decided that we're gonna just, we're gonna back face the stockers. Now, according to the, the old direct connection racing manual for the Slant 6, they call it a toss up between going with the larger valves or just back facing the stock ones. And that's probably because of the shrouding that's, that's involved here. You can put a bigger valve in, but the area to the outside, it, it, it's just not gonna flow correctly. It's gonna push all of the mixture to one side. So we're just gonna back face these things. Uh, we'll probably knock that seat down to about uh, 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 two thirds of what it is right now. And, uh, and that, should, that should, you know, it should flow. We don't have a flow bench, we have a hot rod. I think we can make it work. If for some reason we find this thing horsepower deficient, we'll pop the head back off and we'll throw the bigger valves in. But for right now, that's what we're going with this. And then the next step with this, after we're done, with the, the, the basic shaping of the ports like we're doing now, uh, we'll leave the intakes pretty much alone. The intakes can have a rough texture to them. You want a, rough, a slightly rough texture to the intakes because it'll keep the mixture from sticking to the walls and the fuel coming out of suspension. It's like the golf ball effect. On the exhaust side though, you want to clean that and polish that as much as you can because you don't want the exhaust to have anything at all to stick to on its way out. 
And that's when you are when you're porting an exhaust valve, keep that in mind, or uh, exhaust port, keep that in mind. You know, anything that poses any sort of restriction or can cause any sort of turbulence or any type of disturbance to the flow on the exhaust side, it, that has to go. And keep your work to the top of the port. You know, the top of the port is what counts. The bottom gets some flow, but as the exhaust is being shoved out of the engine, it's trying to go straight up. And so that's the path that you want to you wanna sp spend the most time on. Uh, you also, as, as a rule of thumb always, you want to stay away from the short turn. You know, that's, that's, the short turn is the area between the seat and the port itself, right? You want to stay as, do nothing but simple smoothing. Don't take any material off of that, because that will hurt flow. So, as I said, we're going to just uh, finish roughing in this side, and then we're going to port the, uh, the, 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 the manifold side of the head. And uh, just to show you how we do this, because next time you see this, this will be done. What you do with these is you take a gasket, right? You take the stock gasket. How does this go here? You put it on the head. You make sure that it's as centered as it could possibly be. And then you take some bright colored paint and hit it like that. You know, after it dries and you take the gasket off, Come on. You can see the areas that have to be dressed out. And you can also see the inconsistencies in these ports. You know, that's, that's as they were cast. So that's where we're at with this. Uh, oh, by the way, her name is Oscar. Her name is Oscar. Uh, we've decided to name her that because one of our viewers, Oscar Garcia, was kind enough to donate enough money through Super Chat to actually pay for the, all of the odds and ends we need to put this motor together. Thank you again, Oscar. We really appreciate that. So uh, that's it for now. We'll get the block back and uh, we'll move on to the next step. I'll see you tomorrow.